Hi, I'm Matt from Vistatrack. Today I'm going to give you a basic Vistatrack catch weight labeling demo. For a typical catch weight packing setup, we have the Vistatrack PC4XE. This is a wash down safe touchscreen computer. It's great for production environments. We have a Duran platform scale. This is an XL7000. We have a Zebra label printer. This is a Z4M or a ZM400. Vistatrack can work with any scale that has RS-232 output or any label printer that has Zebra emulation, such as Datamax or other brands that offer that. So you're not required to buy new hardware in order to use Vistatrack. So to start the packing transaction, I just select packing from the menu, press enter. Vistatrack asks for my operator ID, minus five. My name comes up. Vistatrack utilizes employee ID numbers so supervisors can monitor employee productivity through reports in the office. This software is designed to be very easy for plant workers to use. You can train a plant worker how to use this in less than five minutes. Very large buttons, very easy to read, and they're prompted for every step of the way. You even have workers that don't speak English very well use this because it's very simple to see green for yes and red for no. So I press yes to confirm that. It asks for the product code, 01028. Your workers either need to know the product codes, or we can put a sheet on the wall with a barcode for each product so they can scan the barcode for that product to load the product number. This is set up for a meat company, so it says 100% grass-fed beef. Yes to confirm that. My tear weight is set up in the Vistatrack desktop software as 2.4, so I confirm that. Tear weights for each product are configured in the Vistatrack desktop software. This allows you to set all of your scales to gross mode. This eliminates costly mistakes due to improper tear weights, and also eliminates the need to manually update tears within each scale head. Now it asks for the pack date. The pack date defaults to today's date. Vistatrack uses the flexibility to change this if needed to match your production schedule. We confirm that. The lot number is automatically configured as a Julian date. You can also change this and enter in your own number if needed. Confirm that. Now it asks for the batch number. Vistatrack allows you to manually enter a batch number in order to tie production information to your finished goods. So let's say you make sausage in 300 pound batches and you make five batches a day. This allows you to identify which batch this case came from. We also offer batching modules and work in process if you want to tie multiple raw materials together and track them all the way through production. For now I'm just going to enter zero. We'll confirm that. Now it asks me to confirm everything I selected. So once I'm okay with that, we can either say yes or the enter button also works the same as the yes button. Now we're ready to pack this product to inventory. Taking the first box, place it on the scale. Once the weight settles, all I have to do is press print on the scale head. As soon as this label comes out, it's automatically added to your Vistatrack on hand inventory. The PC4X tells me that I've labeled one. My last net weight is 3.44 pounds. It's the same weight I have here on my label. The scale says 5.84, but remember our tear weight was 2.4. So once this box is labeled, take another box, wait for my weight to settle, and I press print. Now this product is automatically added to the inventory. We can also configure it so as soon as the weight settles on the scale head, the label automatically prints. Piece of 4X says that I've labeled two. My last net weight is 5.58. Same thing it says on the label. Labeling with Vistatrack is that easy. Vistatrack is a real-time system, so every time something is done at the plant, Vistatrack is automatically updated back in the office. This eliminates all manual entry and any errors that may occur when production information is transferred back to the office. Back in the office on the Vistatrack desktop software, we can take a look at some of the things that have been going on out in the plant. If we look at our production report, we can enter in today's date, 10-11-2011. This is everything that was created on today's date. This is a real-time system, so as soon as another case is created, it will be added to the screen. Here's our product here, 01028. In warehouse one, we have 11 units available, totaling 85.21 pounds. Again, this system is set up for a meat company, and we can customize this for you if needed. You can also pull up a printable version of this report. You can select today or a variety of other date ranges, or put in a custom date range. This report can be printed or exported to PDF, Excel, or a variety of other formats. 
This allows you to take advantage of the information that's available in Vistatrack and use it in other Office applications. You can also take a look at our inventory. We look at our on-hand products. You can select which warehouse, enter your production date, 10, 11, 2011. Again, this is everything available in the inventory that was created on this date. Here's our product here, 01028. If we double click on this, we can see all the cases of this product that we have available in our inventory, separated by production date. We have five from 613, four from 713, 12 from 10.6 and 11 from 10.11. We also have FIFO enforcement that we can turn on that notifies a worker when they attempt to ship a product that's not the oldest available. This helps to ensure that inventory is rotating correctly and that loss caused by spoilage or the need to freeze is eliminated. We can also put inventory on hold for a variety of different reasons. And there's many other features available in Vistatrack inventory that make operating your business easier. We'll cover these things in another demo. Also take a look at our individual case records. In this screen, you can select if you want to look at all your cases, the available cases, the sold cases, or any other parameters that you may have. So we'll look at our available products, 01028. This is a record of one case label. You can see I have 32 records here that are available in my warehouse. I can also add my production date. And these are the 11 units that were created on 10-11-2011. You have the serial number, the product code and description, the date and time it was produced, the production date for this item, the employee that produced it, the number of items in the case, the net weight, the sell by date. Uh, there's also physical warehouse information, which warehouse it's in. You can utilize locations in your warehouse. The lot number is listed over here and also the batch number for using a batching system. When this case is sold or transferred or anything else, this will appear over here in the transaction section. For instance, we can look at another product. Let's look at 00365. Look at sold cases. You can see here this particular case was sold on order number 17447, line 6, on May 5th, 2011, at 1146 AM by this employee. So there's a lot of information available here in our individual records. There's lots of other features available in the Vistatrack desktop software, such as reports, tracking, raw materials information, and more. Once again, I'm Matt from Vistatrack. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to check out some of our other videos available online and watch for new ones that will be coming soon. Thanks again.